bombing terror at the Boston Marathon. Three dead, scores injured, no clues who did it. It's so terrifying, it's so scary, and it was so loud. Aussie runners tell how close they came to being a casualty, amid fears for future events. Added security will be needed, particularly for big events. Brisbane ramps up security for next year's G20, extra measures to protect the city. Uh, we, of course, are planning for the, the, the possibility that someone would seek to target the G20. And the end of the ride of his life around Australia in record time. It's been very tough. It's pushed me to the limits pretty much every single day. This is 10 News at 5 with Georgina Lewis. Good evening. In what's believed to be an act of terror at the Boston Marathon, two powerful explosions turned a scene of athletic celebration into blood-soaked chaos. The bombing was highly visible and symbolic, carried out on the city's Patriots Day holiday. At least three people have been killed, one an eight-year-old boy. Dan Sutton is in Boston and he begins our coverage. When the bombs went off here in Boston, it was Patriot's Day, a, a commemoration of key battles in the American Revolution some 200 years ago. Well, tonight this city is feeling the immense pain of ver very modern warfare and uh, against an enemy who is hidden and is targeting innocent families, women and children at one of the world's premier sporting and social events. And they did it with... stuff. When the bombs went off, the footpaths and streets around Boston were busier than at any other time of the year. As well as the marathon, it was a public holiday, Patriot's Day, when families pack the city and spend time together. Runner James Wadetsky had a kilometre to go when the chaos erupted. He thought his family was waiting at the finish line. After 40 minutes of panic, he found out they were late. Now, when this happened, the rest of America, of course, went into lockdown, no doubt with images of September 11 in the back of their mind. And as their shock turned to anger, obviously people are asking how one of the most powerful intelligence networks in the world managed to be blind to this plot and how terrorists were able to get under their guard again. President Obama, for one, was swift to promise justice. Here's Daniel Isdale. Coordinated and timed to turn a moment of triumph into tragedy. Moments like these, terrible as they are, don't show our weakness, they show our strength. It could have been twice as deadly. At this stage, as I said, no suspects have been identified and nobody has claimed responsibility. Thank you, Dan Sutton, there in Boston. And back home, the Premier says the bombings are a wake-up call for next year's G20 summit. It's also been a frantic and anxious day for the families of Brisbane runners caught up in the chaos. Max Futcher has more. One of the world's most famous marathons draws athletes and fans from across the world. This morning, Brisbane residents were among those who found themselves in a nightmare. The ground shook. The first one was about 10 seconds or so, or not even that, before the, the second one. We just saw people starting to run. It's just this crazy, surreal time of, of uh, like, even now, like, I can see police walking outside the window here. Uh, you know, checking cars. Australian marathon runner Pat Carroll had friends in the race. They're safe, but he says he can't bring himself to watch the footage. This may change the way that um, operations are at, at events now with, re, at the, with regards to the start and the finish, and if it is, well, well, so be it. The Gold Coast Marathon is a qualifying race for Boston. Its organisers were shocked by the overnight attacks, but say a strong security plan is already in place for the July event. From a marathon point of view, the com marathon community is talking. Uh, we're looking at, at, at what we can do to, together to make sure that the events continue and to, um, to share knowledge if there's any learnings from this. But with more than 30,000 entrants along a 42-kilometre course, guaranteeing security is nearly impossible. The Premier says it sharpens focus on the Commonwealth Games and next year's G20. I think there's been some very comprehensive planning going on at the moment for G20. Uh, this will just, I think, heighten the need for vigilance. A massive undertaking to protect Brisbane from a Boston-style attack. Max Futcher, 10 News.